going to make an origami pelican. Now, as you can see, this is not a pelican yet, but we are going to make this into a pelican. So, anybody that doesn't know anything about origami, which I didn't know an awful lot until a couple of weeks ago, it's the art of folding. Japanese are fantastic at it. I have been learning a little bit here and there and I'm really enjoying the process so I want to share it with you all and hopefully you can follow along and make something yourself so if you do make something please comment in below and post a picture that would be brilliant. Here I have two sheets of origami. One thing you will find that they are usually square yeah, I have two different kind of patterns. This quite bold, bold, bright, in your face pattern, quite like myself. Or this very structured, clean, very not like myself, very organized piece of origami paper. So whichever one you decide or whatever is in your pack, you choose. I am going to choose for the pelican. I'm going to go for this one. I think the pelican would be really nice in this. So one of the things that I use or have I found to use is these little tools here. And these little tools help with the folding on the creases. They're called binding something. Somebody will be able to tell me, as you can tell, I'm not that experienced, but that's okay because we're all about having fun here. So you can also use, if you don't have those tools, the back of a knife. So get a butter knife now. Please do not use sharp knives. A butter knife. Safety at all times. Okay, now let's get started. First things first, you have two sides, the colourful bright side, which we all love, and also the plain side. Both are very important. For the pelican, we are going to start at a diagonal with the pattern facing downwards. Now, the first fold that we will make is we will fold across and this edge will meet this edge like so. And what I do, and as I told you, I've only learned, I haven't googled, I haven't checked. This is what I do, is I have had a soft fold there first really soft fold, rub it with my fingers, with my newly painted nails and then I use this or the back of a knife and you just crease out that edge. So just crease out that edge like so. And there we go. And that's it. That is step one. Step one in the art of folding. Now, what I want you to do is open it up. You will see your crease is nice and sharp. And the next stage, we are actually going to fold the corners in towards here, which is in towards the center. And to do this, you will fold it across. Now it goes about halfway up, just over halfway up. So you're actually going up with three quarters of the way up. This is the tricky part. So down at the bottom, this is where the corners. Now, as I've just started, like I've said, no expert, total beginner, but we all start somewhere. It's not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. Cause who is perfect? There we go. And just Again, use the back of your knife, 
that end and let that fold go down. Do the same on the other side. And you want it to match up with it, okay? So fold that edge down as well. There we are. That is step two. Now, we are going to fold one more time inwards. Okay. So we are folding into the center again. And this time, we're bringing it in here. Okay. Just into the center. Don't forget your point down at the bottom. Again, this is quite tricky. Um, rub your finger towards the inside. I find that helps a little bit. And gently, like so. There we are. As you can see, my point is not very good at the bottom. But that's okay. We're not aiming towards perfection. Not yet. Perfection takes time. Then we are going to do the same on the other side and we fold it into the center again. Okay, so you can see those two are lining up. Be careful at the bottom, this starts to come up. You can also use this to come on the inside, or like I said, use your knife towards the inside. Gently fold with your finger. That's what I do at the moment. And then I'll just show you how you can use the knife the same way. Just like that, okay? I just like this wee too. Gets it sharper. Now, as I said, the edge isn't perfect, but that's okay. Step three, completo. It looks a bit like a kite, doesn't it? We want to turn it over to this end, okay? And as we do that, we want to fold this point up until this point. So what we do is we just fold it like so. The point reaches the very top. I use this little tool for in here or your knife, just be gentle. And we're going to smooth that out and there we are that's it nice and smooth well not perfect but that's okay that's step four step five this is where we get even foldier we're going to fold this point and we're going to fold the whole thing in half. Okay, so you keep it on this side. Okay, and you fold it over like so. You connect the points. It's actually hard to do at this angle. So I'm going to turn it around. Okay, it's just a little easier for me to do. And we connect the points. There we are. I'm squishing those bits in. There we are. Making sure they're all tucked in. And that's it. There we are. There we go. I we rotate it this way. So here you have it, it's rotated. And this is step six is rotating. 
the next step, which is quite difficult, I find. So we are going to raise this middle part upwards. And this is going to be the neck of the crane. The f like, lit not the neck, sorry. The, f the beak, the face, the beak, the face of the crane. So what we do is we raise it slowly. So what I do is I hold it here. I raise it slowly like that. Okay. That's it. You can see that's starting to lift. So you put it back down again and put your fingers there just a little bit. Just to let this come out. Okay, hope you can see. This little crane's going to have a little bit of fun. And the thing is, you can always alter the crane a little bit. So if the crane's neck is back too much, you can always bring it forward later. That's what I find. So I'm going to squish, squishy squish that down like that. Squishy squish. Then this is going to be the head. So what we do is we then fold this part back on itself. I hope you can all see. There we are. Look, look at that. Look at his beautiful head. What are we going to call him? Or her? What are they? What will we call them? Okay. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. I'm so excited. Okay, breathe. If you've made it this far, I am so proud. Thank you for listening. Now we're going to fold each wing upward and open it up out slightly because the pelican will then rest its wings and sit up and float down the water. So here we are. We're going to open that up a bit. There we are. That's it. Looking very nice. I use my finger a lot. But to get sharp lines, to get it crisp and looking great, you need to do that. And then you pull it down a wee bit so then it sits. Then what we do is we turn it over. We do the same on the other side, okay? And we push it up there. And we do the same here and let us sit back. Now everybody, are you ready? This is your little pelican. This is your pelican. There he is. Well, I'm going to call him. I'm, it's going to be him. No. I'm going to call it Florence. This is Florence the Pelican. It takes my, it probably would sit straighter if I creased it properly. So this is called Florence. I'm going to set up so I can show you. This is Florence. Everybody meet Florence. Florence is going to go down the water. Have a swim. There we are. That's it. That is your pelican all made. Perfect. There you are. You have made a pelican. I'd love you to share with me your thoughts, any tips you have on how I can make this better, also would be great. And 
Yeah. Let me see your pelicans. Um, let me know what their names are because that would be so exciting. We can have a family of pelicans. Do, 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 do. 